Hello everyone, this is Carla de la Rosa King, immigration attorney, and today I have a frequently asked question for you. And the question is, what can I do if I'm in, abu in an abusive relationship, but my marriage-based petition still pending with USCIS? Do I have to start all over again? The answer to that question is no. Unfortunately, I do see this type of cases uh, often. So what I usually do is I will meet with the client and we are going to talk. We are going to see, I'm going to try to determine whether the client qualifies for power. So if the client has been either physically, mentally, or emotionally abused by their spouse, they might have a VAWA case. So if this is the case, what we're going to do is we are going to convert that pending marriage-based petition. We're going to convert it into an I-360 uh, VAWA self-petition. So we're going to file an I-360 petition with USCIS, and we are going to request them to convert the pending marriage-based petition into a VAWA self-petition. Also, if you have an I-485, which is the Adjustment of Status Application, pending with USCIS as well, what we're going to do is we're going to request USCIS not to issue a decision in the I-485 application until after the I-360 uh, self-petition has been adjudicated. So if you're in this situation, please know that you have options. You don't have to start the process all over again. And also, you don't have to pay the fees all over again. So, um, if you want to see if you qualify for this type of, of, of conversion, please feel free to give me a call at 773-366-1214 and schedule a consultation with me. Also, I, before I'm done with this video, I also want you to know that if you, if, if that VAWA has three rules of confidentiality. So if you don't tell your abusive spouse that you are filing a VAWA self-petition, he's not, he or she is not going to know. Nobody's going to tell them. USCIS is not going to call your abusive spouse and ask them questions about it. They are not going to ask questions about the abuse. They just won't call them. So you don't have to be fearful that your spouse is going to find out your, that you are filing about a self-petition. So again, if you have questions about this, please feel free to give me a call at 773-366-1214 and schedule a consultation with me. Thank you for watching this video.